then it is time to get crafty. Us Geek Guy Girls absolutely love to collect accessories and precious little knickknacks. So instead of having them lying all over the place, today we are creating a jewelry organizer that also serves as attractive decor. Are you ready to get crafty? Let's go! Alright, so first things first. So with me, I've got my pre-cut 4 by 20 inch planks and my steel tape and a pencil. So what we're going to do first is we are going to label which of the planks goes on the wall and which of the planks goes on top. So now we align the planks perpendicular to each other and we mark it down. And now we find the midpoint between this one. All right, so now that we have drawn our midpoint, I'm going to be dividing the wall plank into five parts. This is where we are going to be placing the wooden dowels. All right, to do that, since this is 20 inches, I'm going to find the midpoint, midpoint, and then I'm going to place markings four inches apart. These intersections are going to guide us when we are drilling the holes for the wooden dowel. We're going to mark the narrow edge of this plank because it's going to go like that. Once again, take the midpoint to the guide for drill. It's time to mark out where the screws are going to be. You're just going to mark out um, the midpoint of each dowel point. Okay, so to differentiate it, you can choose another shape, like a star perhaps. There we go. Now we're ready to drill. Before we do any drilling, we have to mark out how deep we want to drill into, right? So with that, we're going to just measure the dowel and use some tape, matching it with a drill bit and sticking tape where the marking is. The shorter part of the drill bit is going to go into our wall plank and the longer part is where we are going to be attaching our top plank. Alright, safety first. I've got my goggles, my gloves. Since we have matched up the shorter bit of the dowel to the drill, I'm going to be drilling into the wall plank. Now we've got our dowel holes, it is time to work on the screw points. So remember, once again, do not go all the way through. Test out the drill first. Alright, awesome. So, I have already drilled my dowel points. I've also gone ahead and drilled the top plank. I have matched up my dowel and taped the marking for the longer bit on the drill bit. It's time to sand. So basically the purpose of sanding is to prepare our wood for the wood stain. Right, so we're done sanding. This is a very important step to clean your wood of any sanding dust. Okay, this is to prep it for staining. All right, so we've got here our Boysen Oil Wood Stain and Walnut. And what we are gonna do is we are gonna stir it thoroughly. But before you do that, please wear a mask. All right, so this is how it looks like after eight hours. And before we apply the Hudson Timber Coat, we have to lightly wipe off any excess oil wood stain along the grain of the planks. All right, cool. So now we will be working with the Hudson Timber Coat. What we're gonna do now is we are going to apply the first coat. You gotta let it sit for an hour before you apply the second coat, and after which you let it cure for seven days. All right, so this is how it looks like with two layers of Hudson Timber Coat cured for seven days. Mark out where you would like your screws. So visually, this is how I would like it to look like. I would like to have my rod here. So I have already marked out where I want my screws to be and I've aligned it according to the last hole. You can choose any measurement that you'd like. Now I'm gonna attach the screws. So once again, if you need supervision, don't worry about asking for help. I'm gonna start with my top plank. So this is what the final product is gonna look like. Now that we've attached the hooks, it is finally time to attach it to the wall. It is now time to attach the top plank with dowels and wood glue. Alright, awesome. So we've attached all the dowels and what I've done is put in a dollop of wood glue into the holes and we are finally gonna put this on. And there we have it, our jewelry organizer. Let's accessorize. If I can express myself with DIY, so can you. 
For more DIY content, head over to Studio B and MyVoiceIn.com. Of course, do not forget to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!